Hey everyone, my name is Becky, I have ME and this is my ME. Today I want to talk more about epilepsy. Here comes the cat. Yep, here he is, as soon as I start talking. Are you talking to that camera, mummy? Are you? Well, that's not good. I want all the attentions. I tell you what I'm going to do, because I'm doing a vlog, like a week vlog. For, to show the Emmy and how it, it's up and down and I'm going to put at the end uh, little clips of him being a pain and annoying me and knocking things. I deleted the clip where he knocked the camera but I wish I wish I'd have kept that now. Never mind. Anyway, so today I want to talk a bit about epilepsy and the reason I want to talk about epilepsy is because of my teeth. I went to the dentist today knowing that he, he had his work cut out for him. This past year, I had brilliant teeth, right? About a year ago, it started all going wrong, but I had brilliant teeth. I had my first filling when I was in, well, I was 36. I think I was 36 when I had my first filling. And all I needed was one. And then I had to have um my wisdom teeth out because they were growing crooked but that's that's all that's all i've ever had to really have done i'm on uh tegretol um which is carbamazepine and a couple of other ones as well um but it's tegretol i want to talk about because it's the main one it's the culprit really but the doctor said because i take a couple of others as well because i have two types of epilepsy we've got cat fur going everywhere are you shedding not summer yet so my teeth were great okay <laughs> that's what i want to say my teeth were great and about a year ago they started really falling apart um and there's not many teeth that are perfectly fine i don't think i've got a lot of problems and including the front two front teeth um next to like next to the front teeth i don't know what these ones are called um, but they're like crumbled and chipped, they're just crumbling basically. And so the dentist, because I spoke to the doctor before and the doctor said, you know, it could be because you're grinding your teeth, especially in your sleep, because Tegretol can do that to you. I was like, great, okay. So I tried to make an effort not to grind my teeth, but then of course you can't control it for night time. But I did notice I was doing it during the day as well which I'd never noticed before. Then the dentist today said that it's not just the grinding. It, he said, do you get dry mouth? And I said, yeah, like all the time. Um, and he said, that's one of the huge problems because, you know, your saliva helps things with, you know, bacteria and all sorts of stuff going on. I'm sorry if you can see cat hair flying everywhere. Just another way you can sabotage video, I believe. <laughs> he said that I need to be sipping water through the day to keep my mouth um, as moist as possible. <laughs> I know some people hate that word, but I mean, the good thing is he's gonna be working on my teeth and trying to get things fixed and pulling out when he's be pulled out. It's just so sad because I've always had good teeth and my my grand she um had her teeth her her like natural teeth all the way up until she died and I was hoping that I'd be like that too because I had good teeth but obviously that's not gonna happen and that's a shame <laughs> I don't know it it is what it is he said to me you know you could stop taking your epilepsy medication and die or keep taking it live and have lots of dentistry work done so i'm, I'm sitting at a funny angle again oh well hey i'm sitting at a funny angle today i'm a little down about it i have to say but i've been down about the, my teeth for a while it's not because I don't brush them or or anything. So I am upset, you know, I am upset. 
because he was talking possibly having dentures um, for these. The front ones are okay, but I don't know. But when he said dentures, I was like almost crying. I was just like, I could feel it welling up and I'm just like, no, 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 you don't do this. You don't cry in public. <laughs> He's got to take lots of x-rays and things, so I'm booked in for three appointments and hopefully he can get me back on track, but I don't know. I am sad. Isn't it funny I can't cry in public but I can cry on camera? <laughs> I've done it a few times now, I'm like, yeah, I do cry, I do cry, but on camera I seem to be able to. I will put you down on the floor if you bite again. Oh, stop being cute. You can't have me telling... Right, okay, off you go. Good lad. Well, that stopped tears. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. We can deal with this, you know? I mean, what other choice do I have? I have no other choice. I have no other choice but to deal with this. The, the, I have two types of epilepsy and the one is very dangerous. Is it? Really? It's, it's pretty dangerous. So, you know, nobody's going to risk me coming off these tablets just because I don't want my teeth falling out. It, it is what it is. And... You know, as my son said to me, I, you know, I'd rather you have dentures and be alive than be buried with your real teeth, kind of thing. And he's, he's right. He's right. I also need to stop and think about things. What I say, because, you know, I don't want to upset him at all. Sometimes I worry that I say things and I'm upsetting. Anyway, not the point. Oh, I don't even know how long this video is going to be. I just, yeah. It's crappy, isn't it? You know, we've got these problems and it just shows just how much damage these medications can do to our bodies and it does make I have wondered before about things like CBD oil and you know how it's been used to treat epilepsy and and would that be better and and could that work I, but then I wouldn't risk doing that with the type of epilepsy that I have stopping one I don't know whether I'd risk it to be honest actually thinking about it but it does make me wonder whether we could have something a bit more natural that actually works. You know, you see these videos of people having full on seizures and having CBD oil and, you know, they're fine. I think that's where I'm going to end things, I think. Um, let me know down below if you have problems with your medication, whether you take Tegretol 2 and whether you've noticed any problems. Um, if you just started taking it I would very much recommend you go regularly to your dentist um, very regular because you don't want to end up in this situation where you need a lot of work done and I hate the dentist like I'm not you know frightened of many things but the dentist I don't know I don't know it just does scare me it is what it is, I guess. So yeah, let me know down below if you have any problems um, with your medication, any side effects and things. It would be really interesting to hear from you, actually. Uh, so thank you so much for listening to me today. Thank you for joining me. It has been wonderful to talk to you. I, If you want to join me on my journey through these illnesses and through life, please subscribe. It would be wonderful to have you along. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye.